Hopefully by now you've noticed that I'm someone who likes to discover new and novel ingredients that no one is talking about. Well, this new ingredient is absolutely one of those ingredients that definitely deserves more attention in the fat loss market. What's up guys, my name is Lucas, the founder of Ergogenic Health, and my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with the latest health information. So when researchers were examining over 1 million small molecule compounds to assess their ability to inhibit a particular enzyme known as NNMT, JBSNF, which is the molecule I'm talking about in this video, was found to inhibit this enzyme very similarly to 5-amino-1-MQ. So I'll get into a little bit about this particular enzyme, you know, what the function is and how it can actually benefit, you know, metabolic syndrome and also potentially obesity and fat loss. So just a heads up, JBSNF is also known as 6-methoxynicotinamide. And what I wanted to do was sort of outline this particular pathway known as the NAD salvage pathway. Now, many of you probably already know a little bit about NAD and the importance of NAD for longevity, improving metabolic syndrome and improving mitochondrial function and everything related to sort of energy production. This particular enzyme, CERT1, and what you can see here is the NNMT enzyme, which basically catalyzes the Na to 1 MNA, and that obviously interferes with the methionine cycle and has downstream implications for white adipose tissue and also energy metabolism. So what happens is with this particular molecule known as JBSNF, by blocking that NNMT enzyme, we're actually seeing a downstream decrease in white adipose tissue mass and an increase in energy metabolism, followed by an increase in NAD+, which are all associated with better health and better metabolic control. So here are some of the major benefits associated with JBSNF, and I will be linking to JBSNF in capsule form linked in the video description down below, so be sure to check that out. But basically by inhibiting this NNMT enzyme, this reduces MNA levels and drives insulin sensitization glucose modulation and body weight reduction in animal models of metabolic disease. In mice that were fed a high fat diet, which basically induces obesity, JBSNF caused a reduction in body weight. It improved insulin sensitivity and normalized glucose tolerance to the level of the, that of the lean control mice, which is pretty outstanding. So research in mice also shows that JBSNF reduces body weight. Once again, this weight loss is seen in spite of continued average rates of food intake. So despite increasing the amount of food intake in mice, it was still blocking the fat gain. So interestingly, whilst 5-amino-1-MQ, which I've also spoken about on this channel, appears to improve body weight regardless of genetics, JBSNF only alters body weight in specific genetic settings. This doesn't mean that JBSNF won't work in those with obesity, but rather may not work in individuals with certain genetic forms of obesity. Now, this suggests that Interference with this enzyme may not be the only mechanism of action by which this particular molecule produces weight loss. So this is what I find really fascinating is a lot of these molecules that we are you know, starting to discover actually work through so many different pathways downstream. Like we might firstly identify that a particular molecule works through you know, one pathway or one mechanism. And then you know, like three to five years later, we end up learning that it you know, maybe increases brown adipose tissue or brown fat, or it may accelerate thyroid hormone output, or potentially it may affect other hormones like ghrelin and leptin, or maybe it's even affecting mitochondrial function. The whole point is that a lot of these anti-aging compounds and molecules and peptides, they end up working through so many different you know, downstream pathways that are often only discovered years later. What's also interesting is how a combination of JBSNF amongst some other synergistic compounds may also yield 
greater effects on fat loss. So I'll cover that shortly. So let's take a look at some of the anti-diabetic properties of JBSNF. Now, what's interesting is that JBSNF is the most potent anti-diabetic compound of this group of compounds which the researchers were analyzing and has been shown in mouse models to drastically improve glucose handling even in genetically obese mice. Now, this likely arises as a result of its ability to interfere with this NNMT function as research in the past has shown that interventions to improve insulin sensitivity such as exercise and even bariatric surgery decrease NNMT expression in adipose tissue. So this is important because it, as noted above, JBSNF appears to primarily affect this NNMT expression in fat cells and not in live cells. So this is really, you know, really profound. What's also really fascinating is the ability for JBSNF to increase stem cells. It's quite amazing if a compound can help to increase the production of stem cells. And it's also very rare for compounds to be able to do this. But what's interesting is that, you know, there is some preliminary research to suggest that preventing these epigenetic changes, such as changes in stem cell production can help to, you know, affect longevity and also aging. So what's interesting is that there's a great deal of research looking into the combination of both, you know, 5-amino-1-MQ and JBSNF to you know, accelerate the production of stem cells in the body. So when taking a look at dosages for JBSNF, obviously this is not medical advice and this is very preliminary research. Although as you guys know, I love to be at the cutting edge and the forefront of all these new and novel ingredients, but looking at a dosage for JBSNF, based off the initial rat studies, conversion to a human dosage would be approximately five to 10 milligrams per day. So again, it's a very, very low dose, you know, similar to that what's seen with uh, 5-amino-1-MQ. So if we look at some of the synergistic molecules with JBSNF, combination of 5-amino-1-MQ at 50 milligrams, which I've done a video on. If you haven't already checked that out, please go and watch that at about 50 milligrams and then nicotinamide mononucleotide at about 50 milligrams as well. And the synergistic combination of all these ingredients uh, primarily affect NAD levels. They also affect GLUT4 expression. And by increasing NAD and decreasing that NNMT enzyme, we're gonna be seeing an improvement in cellular metabolism, enhanced fat loss, improved glucose control, and potentially help to combat aging as well. To me, this looks like a very potent anti-aging fat loss stack or blend, and JBSNF being the lead molecule in this formula. So if I was to utilize this as a fat loss agent, I would be using, you know, five to 10 milligrams, potentially with 50 milligrams of 5-amino-1-MQ and 50 milligrams of NMN. And I'd be using this first thing in the morning, perhaps instead of coffee, because it's gonna provide an energy boosting effect. And I'd run this for about four to six weeks and take about two weeks off. So hopefully you found this video useful. Again, you will be seeing JBSNF and a synergistic formula linked in the video description down below. If you did find this video insightful or, or interesting, please like the video as I've got some really amazing content coming up soon. Thanks everyone for the support. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.